Alexandria here and welcome back to the channel. If you're a newbie, I just want to say welcome to you and if you're one of my fabulous returners, welcome back. So today I'm here with my Sephora VIB sale recommendations and wish list video for you guys because it's that time of year or almost that time of the year again where Ulta does their 15% off or 10% off in the spring. So if you guys are curious, we will jump to my laptop in just a minute. The goal of this channel really is to help you feel your most beautiful inside and out. So if that sounds like something that sounds interesting to you, you should definitely click that subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you don't miss out on future videos like today's. So if you're ready, let's jump in. Okay guys, so here we are at my Sephora loves list. These are the kind of recommendations. I just put them all here. So the first thing I want to point out is the Sephora favorites kits. I always suggest looking at these during a VIB sale of some kind because the reality of it is is that these are a great value set if you see some items that you are interested in trying. If you're a makeup enthusiast like myself, this is often a good time to try products because you get some full size but not all full size so it's easier to get through a product. So here is the selfie kit. This is one of their newer kits. I believe this one is $28 plus you'll get your 15 or 10%. Um, so, and there's a list of what it contains in this particular one. This is not one I'll personally be picking up just because I'm not interested in it, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Um, this one is one that I am interested in. This is the uh, their newest Give Me Some Lip Kit. Um, so I might pick this one up to review for you guys if you want to see it. Um, so that's something that I might be picking up from the sale um, with my 15% off. And again, just um, there's a little review. This one has some Anastasia stuff, some Bite stuff, um, Grande Lips, um, let's see, uh, Kat Von D, uh, Rainforest of the Sea from Tarte, and Urban Decay. Um, so that's one I'm considering checking out. Um, another foundation that I haven't mentioned in a while that I'm a big fan of is the Tarte uh, Water Foundation. Um, I really enjoyed having this foundation, but I really don't need any more foundations right now, so I might not personally be picking this up, but I do like it. As well, I wanted to mention the Too Faced Peachy Mattes. This one hasn't been given quite enough love, and I will make sure to link in the cards or in the description bar any relevant reviews for any of these items, this one included. Um, also, I did want to give a mention to the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Setting Powder. I do enjoy this powder quite a lot, and my mom, who is very oily, really likes this powder too. So if you are combo to oily, I think you'll like it if it comes back in stock. I did also want to mention the Viseart, the new um, Absinthe palette. There are actually two new Viseart palettes that just came to Sephora within the last few weeks, and I did pick this one up on the Muse Beauty Pro website. The website's taking a bit to load, uh, but I did want to point this one out. This is a great palette. Again, I will... Uh, leave my review for that uh, somewhere for you guys to check out if you want to see it But I do really enjoy this palette and I think it's a nice one and would definitely recommend it for the sale price I also just wanted to highlight this um, Sephora collection pro angle blush brush. This is one of my favorite brushes of all times It is a little on the expensive side at $32 um, But I would consider picking it up also the um, highlighter um, gel eye crayons from Marc Jacobs. Love these, but we'll only pick these up during the sale because they're so expensive. Also, the Marc Jacobs lip glosses are um, something I only pick up from the sale as well because they are $28, very expensive. Love Drunk is my favorite. And then finally, I wanted to recommend to you uh, the Steel of Glitter and Glows. I've mentioned these on multiple occasions, but now is a great time if you've been curious to check those out as well. Awesome. Now I'm just going to jump over to my shopping cart and just kind of show you um, what is kind of on my wish list of sorts. It's a very short wish list and honestly I'm not sure if I will be picking up much if anything from this sale just because I don't need anything. But I would love to know uh, what you guys are loving. If you make any recommendations to me I'd love to hear it in the comments section. Um, so one of the things I'm considering is that Sephora gave me some lip kit like we mentioned. Um, also the Sephora collection um, lip balm and scrub is something I've been curious about for a while. And then the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. Like I mentioned, I don't need any more foundation, so I probably won't pick this up, but I put it in there. And then also this like on sale Sephora uh, lip set. 
Okie dokie, my friends, that's gonna do it for my wish list and recommendations from the Sephora VIB sale for the spring. Um, also, I will link some of my previous videos. I have a playlist of Sephora VIB sale recommendations, and those are all still relevant as well, so I will link those in the description bar for you. Um, and make sure you let me know what are you guys planning on picking up, if anything, from the Sephora VIB sale, and I encourage you, if you weren't gonna buy it on sale, don't buy it at the VIB sale. <laughs> All right, my friends, so I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.